We all know the call of the cuckoo. Its distinctive sound heralds the coming of spring. It's a migratory bird, so it comes to the UK in April time and then goes back to its um, wintering ground in sub-Saharan Africa in summer. It's an unusual bird because it lays its eggs in other birds' nests. When the chick then hatches, it throws out all the other eggs so it becomes the sole chick of its foster parent's nest. There are currently um, 14,000 pairs in the UK and 2,000 fire figures for Dartmoor show that there are around 115 singing males here. However, the population has seen a 70% decline over the last 20 years in England. In the 1988 Devon Bird Atlas, the cuckoo was widespread across the county. Now you have to come to Dartmoor to hear or see one. There are many possible explanations for the decline, but given the bird spends 75% of its time not in the UK, and we know little of what happens once they leave the UK, and nothing once they leave Europe, we are using groundbreaking new ways to find out more. Dartmoor National Park Authority are working in partnership with Devon Bird Watching and Preservation Society to take part in a national project which is using new technologies to track cuckoos on their migration. The project is run by the British Trust for Ornithology, who are putting satellite tags onto cuckoos. They have so far tagged cuckoos from Scotland, Wales, Eastern England and now Dartmoor. We have found out new information about when the cuckoos leave, what migration routes they take, what habitats they need, where they go in Africa and where most mortality occurs. Cuckoos are still widespread on Dartmoor because of the wide expanse of semi-natural habitat with extensive grazing. So we have a mosaic of scrub and open moorland with plenty of their host species, the meadow pipit, and their food source, which is caterpillars. So our work with farmers to manage the land on Dartmoor is helping. On Dartmoor, the cuckoos lay their eggs in the nests of ground nesting birds. You can help during the nesting season in the spring and summer by sticking to paths and keeping dogs under control on the moor.